Eight people will be losing their hair today, but it will all be for a great cause and to be bald in solidarity. A man came up with the idea to make a difference for one of his favorite organizations to volunteer with after he was diagnosed with cancer. He said he's going to lose his hair anyway. Why not help someone else in the process? Our Emily Byer shares the story. The founder of Happily Ever Animal Sanctuary, Amanda Wrights, is coloring her hair purple. Coloring my hair wasn't the top list of my things to do, <laughs> but, but it's a fun way to all come together and help, and it's definitely better than shaving my head. You see, it's all for a great cause for one of her volunteers, Dean Eckberg. You know, if we can crack a smile and laugh and tease Amanda, that's a good day. With a healthy sense of humor, he's battling stage four pancreatic cancer. But as organizers tell us, in true Dean fashion, he's not going to do it without helping make a difference for others. I'm going to be losing my hair anyway. What can we do? After sharing his diagnosis, Marcus Wrights tells us Dean wanted to find a way to give back. This is a moment where most people will just reel in and focus on them. So they're coming together for a no hair, don't care campaign to raise $10,000 for the Happily Ever After Animal Sanctuary, one of Dean's passions. Dean is the kind of person that doesn't think about himself. Dean is just a, a man whose heart is bigger than his body. A former EMT for 30 years and last year's recipient of Georgia Pacific Adult Volunteer Award, he's always been giving of himself, his time and his talents, focusing on what he can do for others first and always staying positive. You gotta keep smiling, right? You know, boo-hoo is not my, no, I know. today don't end till midnight, we'll worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. The owner of Happily Ever After telling us that once they reach that $10,000 goal, they will name a room at their sanctuary in his honor. He's woven into the fabric of, of who Happily Ever After is. And Dean's played a really big part in constructing some renovated rooms at our sanctuary, specifically for cats, because he has a, a big passion for cats. And um, if we can get to $10,000, we're going to name a room after in honor of Dean. They're still working towards that goal. And tonight, they'll be shaving his head along with others. Amanda telling us she's grateful to be blessed with a volunteer like Dean. And she's excited to support him with purple hair, which is the color for pancreatic cancer. Stage four of anything, any type of cancer is not a good thing. He's um, going through some experimental type um, treatment. Again, he wants to help others. Like, he doesn't necessarily know that that treatment's going to help him, but he's hoping that someday it will help somebody else. Dean is the kind of guy that needs to be celebrated. He's the kind of person that we need more of. Anish Wabanan, yeah, Emily Byer, NBC 26. Well All right, thanks. Um, and they'll be streaming the head shaving tonight on their Facebook page around 530. You can still donate to the cause. We have a link for you on our website, NBC26.com.